The driver of new demand is young generation. So uh, they are very good, uh, you know, educate, and they are very much familiar with uh, digital technology, and they involve more and more R and D's work. So I think that be uh, be happening in China. In same times, if we look at the Europe or development economy, multinational company lay out some people in uh, in uh, you know like uh, Europe, uh, US. But like New South, we hope we recruit more and more people in Europe and in US. Today in uh, Europe, we have uh, 460 uh, people working in uh, Germany, in Finland, in even Romania. We hope in future we will got more people. Uh, because that people is a very high uh, in our quality, they are very much experienced in past many, many years. If we can combine that people with uh, people in China with a low cost, we totally rebuild our core competence. So that means, like a uh, new sub type of company come to Europe, we are not a uh, purpose not buy the company, take the job, come to China. We want to got the people. We want to build, you know, the business in here. We want to use the people to develop our business. So uh, that is. Another change for economy of uh, you know China in future, more and more business will come in from global business. So maybe many of the development economies say China is uh, engine to drive their growth. For us, we say Europe, US is a driver to drive us to make a transformation to move to another stage. So very much uh, focusing on the middle class, as you said, I think as a new customers um, generating growth. And uh, I think I like what you say whenever Chinese companies today are taking over Western assets, uh, they don't necessarily go into the dimension of uh, laying off those people and, and transferring everything to China. For example, if you take uh, uh, in the car industry Volvo, Volvo was taken over by um, a private Chinese company, by Chile, that uh, kept everything in Sweden and um, uh, the, the brand is, is still running under Swedish management. I think that's maybe the strength of this approach, of yes, keeping yeah. the assets uh, where they are, and of course benefiting from technology transfer on top. Right? From, a, from a business aspect, this uh, business logic in back is very, very simple. The people here, compared with China, their experience is uh, like 20 years, 30 years you know, ahead of social development environment. Like China, we just start to build a kind of service like insurance, like healthcare, like education or something. Mm -hmm. But here, a lot of talents, they already have 30, 40 years experience. It's okay, very yes. much available. Absolutely. We cannot, uh, you know, if you buy the company, you cannot uh, buy the people and move the people to uh, just for China. So for that kind of purpose, we need to build a global R&D network. We need to got more people in local. Let's maybe uh, move to the inventors of uh, capitalism. Let's move to the US for a moment. And the US is very much um, in the press uh, these days. I have to say Wall Street is very much in the press. Not so much um, talk about the banks and the quarter reporting uh, about uh, takeovers, but about uh, the occupation of Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street uh, is uh, something quite mainstream. And it's not only in the US, I think it's